For as much as has gone wrong during the pandemic, one positive thing happened. Fewer children were involved in crime in Hampton Roads. And that's even with school being out. So what is the cause for this, let's call it a good trend? And on your side's Regina Mobley is crunching the numbers for us tonight. Regina? Well, Tom and Anita, area police departments are reporting historic lows and the number of children involved in and victims of crime from March of last year to last month compared to the year before the pandemic. The numbers offer encouragement after a public health threat that has changed lives forever. Last summer, Honesty Brion, only weeks old, became the youngest victim of gang violence in modern Hampton Roads history. 20 year old Kamani Langford, aka G Stacks, allegedly used an assault style weapon when he opened fire on the baby, her mother, and three other adults. She one went old, fighting for her life. Please help us get justice for honesty. While this case almost claimed a very young life, the first year of the pandemic was apparently far safer for children across the region. When you map out the numbers across the metro area, every city that provided data reported significant decreases in the number of children who were the victims of crime. Norfolk down 76 percent, Portsmouth down 13 percent, Chesapeake down 39 percent, and the Virginia Beach numbers are pending. Crimes against children were down 20 percent in Suffolk, and on the peninsula, the decrease is 17 percent in Hampton and 13 percent for Newport News. So how did Norfolk turn the tide? Officials say by establishing community-based programs before the pandemic and curfew enforcement during the pandemic. And make sure if there's anyone on the street that's underage, we get them home safe. Ten on your side investigators are also tracking a significant decrease in the number of suspects under the age of 18 who committed crimes during the first year of the pandemic. Take a look at the map. The decreases range from 16 percent in Portsmouth to 78 percent in Norfolk. In Chesapeake, the decrease in juvenile suspects was 44 percent. The police chief says measures to protect us from the virus have protected children from crime. Uh, the crime triangle is simply this. You have to have three things in order for crime to occur. Uh, a, a victim, an offender, and a location. And you remove any of those elements, you can't have a crime to occur. Antonio Willard knows something about crime across the region. He's a kingpin turned preacher. Everybody basically knows me, even the gang members, because and they know I'm not afraid of them. But what is he afraid of? What could happen when teens return to in-person learning? Hopefully they'll have things in place in school um, that would prevent bullying. The pandemic has made a difference in improving social ills that harmed the harmless, like Honesty Brion. Police say the entire village is needed to protect our future. Gives us an opportunity to, to hit, hit reset and perhaps even uh, do more outreach to young people. We need help from our parents, our teachers, our leaders in the community to come together so we can make a difference to keep our youth safe. Chief Wright of Chesapeake says overall the first year of the pandemic saw the lowest crime rate in Chesapeake since the city was founded in 1963. We are still waiting on the Virginia Beach numbers. We will post them on wavy.com when we get to them. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.